A common point of criticism when it comes to One Piece is the lack of strong and interesting female characters. And there certainly is something to this argument, especially when looking at recent arcs. Nonetheless, One Piece also celebrates diversity as much as no other anime does. It is not very surprising then that the story is home to one of the most amazing female characters out there, and that in an industry that often seems to suffer from a bad case of same face syndrome. Nami is anything but just another shy manga girl. Right from the beginning, we get to know her as the clever and lively person that she is. In more than just one way, she's an incredibly exciting character. Despite appearing weak compared to someone like Zoro, we knew right away that Nami is a badass in her very own way. She has an incredibly strong will, especially for a young girl that had to live through truly tough times as a child. Despite seeing her foster mother being killed right in front of her eyes, she decided to protect her village by working for Belmere's murderer Arlong instead. And over the course of the story, she keeps reminding us of just how truly strong her will is over and over again. To get a grasp of that, we can look at the tea party, where she was even able to withstand Big Mom's Congress hockey outburst. Closely connected to this is also Nami's bravery. Even though she's often seen as a coward together with Usopp and Chopper, she actually has more than once proven her will to fight when necessary. Most prominently, we see this in her fight against Miss Doublefinger, where she stands her ground even while being seriously wounded. So I would argue that in her own way, she is the exact opposite of a coward. Especially when you consider that she lacks the monstrous fighting strength of a Luffy, a Zoro or a Sanji. But as we all know, there's a lot more to Nami than just her strong will. Nami is smart. She's the type of character that has the wits that you always look for in an anime. Next to Robin, she's arguably the smartest member of the crew, and was even revealed by Oda to be the third smartest person from the entire East Blue. What is truly fascinating though is how broad her understanding of the world is. As we all know, Nami is the navigator of the crew, and therefore has excellent knowledge of the weather, the sea, navigation itself, and she's even an excellent cartographer. Being in charge of the ship, she often can be seen giving orders to the crew, to lift the mast or to draw in the sails. But Nami is also really smart with money. Having dedicated much of her life to collecting riches in order to free her village from Arlong, she has developed an obsession with money and treasure. This makes her pretty much the only straw hat that actually cares about the crew spendings, which is also why she acts as the matter of fact treasurer of the ship. The only thing that Nami seems to value even more than a big pile of gold is the people around her. She's one of the most compassionate and emotional members of the crew. And this means in no way that she's overly insensitive or hysterical. On the contrary, we know how tough and confident Nami usually is. What it actually means is that she cares deeply for others and wants to help those who are in need. Nami is able to show us a broad range of emotions in the face of all the events that take place around the Straw Hats. This allows her to easily make new friends wherever she goes. Looking at it from another perspective, it is easy to recognize that this goes hand in hand with understanding people. In other words, Nami also is socially smart. Understanding people and their motives allow you to also understand different situations and how to act in them. This is what often makes Nami the voice of reason in the crew. If she deems an island to be dangerous, she will often try to convince Luffy to not go there. But nonetheless, she will respect and follow Luffy's orders when he demands to. As you can see, Nami is a tremendously interesting character that not only has a very strong will, but also has a brilliant mind. I would argue that it is exactly this combination that make her such a great manipulator. Manipulation describes the act of influencing someone or something in order to achieve a certain goal, often out of self-interest. In a different context, it can also mean actively taking control of someone or something. In other words, a manipulator is a person who controls or influences others in a clever and sometimes unfair way. So let's take a look. What makes Nami such a masterful manipulator? And why does this make her so important for the crew? Being the clever and confident woman she is, Nami is able to manipulate on more than just one level. Having grown up as the infamous cat burglar, the skills to get what she wants is really a central part of her character. In essence, Nami manipulates in three different ways. The first thing that Nami manipulates on a regular basis is the weather. She's able to do that by using her so-called climate tech to manipulate the weather in her surroundings. When combined with her immense knowledge of meteorology and weather systems, this staff can achieve some truly devastating results. 
Originally created by Usopp, the climate tact has been upgraded frequently over the course of the story. The newest version contains almost all the science of the Sky Island Weatheria, where Nami spent the two years during the time skip studying. Recently though, with the addition of Big Mom's personal homie Zeus after the events in Whole Cake Island, the staff got another major upgrade. As a result of all of this, Nami is now able to create different weather phenomena, including wind and lightning. This manipulation of the weather allows her to fight alongside her Nakama and also further improves her capabilities as a navigator. The second target of Nami's manipulation are her enemies. Since her fighting style is focused around her climate attack, she uses it to manipulate her enemies with it as well. The perfect example of this is her Mirage Tempo that creates illusions for opponents in order to trick and irritate them. How effective this is can, for instance, be seen in her fight against Khalifa of the CP9. But Nami wouldn't be Nami if she couldn't manipulate her enemies on a psychological level as well. After all, she tried to manipulate Arlong for most of her life by pretending to be on his side, and she also spent her days robbing pirates. Using her wits and her great understanding of people and situations, she can easily manipulate her opponents. We see this playing out for the first time when she lures a few members of the buggy pirates onto her small boat by showing them a fake treasure. She then goes on to sneak on board of their ship and sail away with it. But Nami outdid herself especially in the Whole Cake Island arc. At first, she realizes the power of Big Mom's Vivre card, and uses it to force King Baum and the homies of the forest to obey her. Later, she goes on to manipulate King Baum again into helping her and Luffy escape to the ship and later also tricks the homie cannonballs sent after the Sunny. Most importantly, of course, though, she manipulated Zeus into hitting Big Mom herself with lightning twice and even into becoming her servant. These and many other examples show how great Nami is at taking advantage of her cleverness and skills in order to take down her enemies. Finally, an unexpected third group affected by Nami's manipulations are the allies around her. Back in the East Blue, for instance, she tricked the crew in order to steal the Going Mary from them. She frequently exploits Sanji's feeling towards her and she also knows how to influence the other members of the group to a certain extent, with the exception of Robin maybe. The most amusing example of this type of manipulation though is most likely after her arrival on the Sky Island with Aria during the time skip. After stealing some of their research and trying to escape the island, she was confronted by the inhabitants of the island. And yet, Nami easily manipulates the residents of Witheria into forgiving her early escape attempt and theft. She later even convinces them to give her a house, among other things, so she could stay on the island to train for two full years. Additionally, she also manages to convince one of the inhabitants to teach her more about the weather balls and the changing climates and weather patterns of the new world, despite the fact that she had previously taken him hostage in order to escape. What all of these examples show though is how truly amazing Nami is able to use the power of manipulation to not only influence friends and foes alike, but even the weather itself. So now that we know how skilled Nami actually is, how does this manipulation benefit her and the crew? Well, at first I think we can all agree that being able to manipulate the weather is a pretty useful skill to have for any pirate crew. It can be used to bring the navigation of the ship to new levels, and at the same time can be used as a surprisingly strong weapon in fights. Especially today's Nami is anything but useless when it comes to battles and conflicts. And obviously, being able to manipulate and outsmart your opponents using your own or other people's skills is a crucial advantage in many of the dangerous situations that the Straw Hats end up in. At the same time, Nami is able to use her manipulation to turn former enemies into valuable allies. Great example for this are characters like Zeus on Whole Cake Island, Vivi on Whiskey Peak or Lola on Thriller Bark. In other words, through her manipulation, Nami allows her crew to master critical situations and at times even profit from them. But of course, this Nami analysis wouldn't be complete without mentioning a few other characteristics of her that make her so important for the crew. The fact alone that Nami navigates the Grand Line for the Straw Hats would be reason enough already. Without her, Luffy and the others would most likely never have made it this far. But Nami is also one of the most important members when it comes to creating the crew's dynamic that we love so much. Like every other Straw Hat, Nami has a special and very close relationship with her captain. But unlike many of the others, she also has a very unique and individual relationship with every other crew member on the ship. No matter if it's her mood swings regarding Sanji or her adoration of Chopper, seeing her interact with everyone on the ship feels incredibly natural in a way. You could even say that she takes the role of a big sister in the crew that keeps everyone in check. And this also includes standing up and fighting for her Nakama when she has to. 
and it also means not letting any of the crew members just disappear but fighting for them to stay. All in all, I can't help but say that Nami is an amazing character, that could be a role model for girls if it weren't for the unnecessary degree of fan service, especially in the anime, that her character has to go through. Because Nami is an important character for any reader. While all Straw Hats have their relatable moments, Nami does exceptionally so. Her broad range of emotions, her cleverness, as well as her growth as a character give the reader the feeling that they might make it in the world of One Piece as well. And while I hope that we will get more strong and interesting female characters in the future in the story, I am sure that Nami will keep being amazing. But now let me hear your thoughts on this. What do you like or dislike about Nami? Do you think there is too much fan service for her character? And what does the future hold for her? If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to be notified for any future content of mine. Or dislike, don't share and unsubscribe. It's a free world, people. Don't forget to hit the bell to get my notifications and I hope to see you around next time and until then, have a great week.